Okay. Um, the title of my um, presentation has changed a little bit from what it was in the, um, the original one. Um, it's basically hosting, you, you land up with a, with a site that's going to become heavy and you want to host it on a single box because you're in a budget. The other side of it is also to get more sleep. If you're a sysadmin or a developer, you actually need your sleep, so get it done, make the box stay up and actually go and get some rest. Okay. Um, my, my background is basically in um, very technical stuff, so I've been network administration, uh, server admin, and recently I've basically moved into the, the development circle. Um, probably been working with WordPress for about four years now. Okay. Um, my introduction to WordPress was uh, landing up with a flaming queue. Um, when I originally got it, there was huge bugs. It was crashing every few days. Um, just a few stats from, from Cure. Cure basically does 1.5 million page impressions a, a, a month. And that's strictly the dynamic pages, not, not counting any of the uh, static content. Um, the real-time stuff, we're looking at about 28,000 28, comments per month on average. And it's peaked at 58,000 comments. Okay, um, we recently redeveloped Cure. And um, before that, we, I had to go and investigate the new ways and, and different ways of actually speeding up of WordPress. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the presentation from Ryan Allen um, from the Australian and the New Zealand uh, WordCamps. He's basically got a lovely, lovely 12.4 step process to, to running a nice, clean blog and, and, and everything successfully. The, the problem is that there isn't really 12 steps and there, there's no one, way, one recipe to actually get this done. Uh, just a bit of stats about him. He, uh, he works for a company called Envato. Uh, they run 20 blogs. They're running 850 pages, page impressions a day um, and 25 million page impressions a month running on one server. Um, okay. uh, some of the, the sub-ones sub are um, Code Canyon, NetTuts, NetTuts Plus, uh, PDS, NetTuts Plus, um, so there's, there's quite a lot of busy, busy sites there. I decided to see exactly what we could do. So if you get a nice fresh box from the hosting provider, what, what is it going to do out of the box and what is it going to do when you start, start optimizing it? Um, during, my, during my bit of research, I managed to go and got a third less on the resource usage and I managed to get it to do about five times the amount of um, page impressions per second. So this is basically the run through. Okay, so client comes to you, uh, big publishing client, the next big thing as, as per usual. They've got dynamic content, content, they want comments, they want everything, they've got lots of images, lots of music, lots of video, and they want to host it all themselves, really the hard way. They don't want to go and use it community stuff, they want to do it inside WordPress. Prerequisites must be fast, 99% uptime, and it must be easy to maintain. The usual. Okay, so you run through your normal development cycle, wireframes, design, development. Everything goes onto your development box where you've just got your team running. Nice, there's about five or six people connecting in. You don't see any load problems. And the client says, right, make it live. You then take it live. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you order a production server from your local um, hosting co. You decide, well, Ubuntu 11.11.04, installed with LAMP, perfect. Um, so there we go. They install Ubuntu for you. They go and stick on Apache, and they go and stick on MySQL and PHP. Sounds great. Linux can handle anything, right? Okay. The me media releases then go out, and your visitors start arriving. Crash. Site starts slowing down, and duck at the site's down. Anyone else, has any, this ever happened to anyone here? Launching, everything's nice, and then crash. Okay, so you eventually start connecting to the box, SSH, can't get into the box, can't log in, pings don't go through, it's gone, you can't access it. Eventually you call the hosting company, please go and push the button. And off they go. All while your client is breathing down your neck. Okay, so what happened? The hardware resources on, on, all, on that server are finite. Um, the default install from, from a LAMP, the LAMP server, will, will, will always fail under load. Um, you've, always, you've always got the resource, uh, resource bottlenecks. You've got CPU, which is basically used up by your dynamic pages that are being generated, your MySQL queries, 
bad indexing, you name it. Uh, your memory usage, your PHP is going to take up every, every session, every connection to the server is going to use memory. Um, obviously, your caching, your MySQL caches. Um, you've also got disks, you've got file pointers. There's a number of places where you're going to get bottlenecks. Okay, so making it simple. Now, under, when, you, when, when there's a fire on the site, you don't, really, you don't have the time to go and investigate the, the beautiful Nginx solutions with proxying and caching and the, the major stuff that, that you would have been able to do before the actual disaster. So this is, this is a few things that we need to do. So you can't let optimization get out of control at that point because otherwise you're going to be looking at these tiny little, the little bits and you're going to waste time. Um, you need to keep your products that you're going to be using that are going to be expected by the development team that you're working with. If the, if the guys are using Apache headers, that type of uh, thing, your, you've pre-written your HT accesses, the hosting live, live needs to actually be able to provide that. Um, and also you want to look for stuff that's got decent community support. Okay. okay, so the test server that I basically set up, tiny little box we had in the office. I'm willing to take donations to get a bigger box at the end of this if anyone is willing. Um, Ubuntu 11, 11.04, dual, dual Pentium, 4 gigs of RAM, PHP 5, latest, <laughs> WordPress, latest, and we just loaded a default, default theme with the WP t unit test data. Okay, Apache. Um, out of the box, it only handles 150 uh, max connections directly to the server. You can take this up to 250 before you need to recompile. Um, 250 connections is still extremely small when you're talking um, uh, load. Okay, by default, it's easy to set up. The, the default lamp sets you up with mod, mod PHP. Um, I automatically just go and change the, the keep, keep alive down from 15 to 5, and Apache was ready. You do have other options if you want to start messing around. You can start playing with Apache worker threads using fast CGI. You can get some decent performance out of that, but it, fast CGI does get a bit shaky. Okay, MySQL, default settings out of the box. Um, in the old days, query caching was never enabled. Um, when I initially took over here, query cache saved me. It, it, it halves the load um, on that database from a, from a WordPress site. Um, then, every, then there's a, a, a concern where you could go the two different database um, technologies. In the tests that I was doing, with query cache turned on, it was a very small difference between the two. So changing your, type, your table type with query cache on, you, you should still be okay. Uh, MySQL is ready to go. Um, if you want some nice um, tuning scripts for MySQL, take a look on GitHub. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, you just run it. It goes, has a look at, at the statistical data that MySQL has been collecting, and it comes back, tells you exactly what to go and change, what to go and check, and also if, you, if you're using too much memory um, that the box doesn't have. Okay. This is my, my little uh, benchmark test called Apache Bench. Don't run this against the live server. You will bring it down. Um, simple command on Linux. Basically, uh, n is how many, how many times you want to hit the box. Concurrency is how many, how many times per, per, per go. And I just set it to the maximum that Apache is going to basically handle. Keep alive. Try and you can turn them on. It'll try. Okay. So, first test, this is the result. Load went up to 108, and I managed to get 12 pages per second out at, within, within 81 seconds. Now, the first question is, what is load? You keep hearing these load, this load on the Linux server, what exactly does it mean? In the old days, when we only had one processor, your, a load of one would mean that that processor was fully loaded. So, a load of 0.5 means that your processor was half loaded. So, now we've got you can see if at 1.7, you've got a little bit of a backup. Um, but with multi-processors, the load of one is only one processor. So if you've got four processors in the box, you can go up to a load of four safely. Um, shown by, the, by the, the two lanes there, obviously going up to two. Um, easy way to find this, just run uptime. It'll come back. It'll give you load averages at the end. It's a five minute, 10 minute, and a 15 minute. The first one is obviously pretty much live. Okay, so next I stuck in APC, nice little op cache. Let's pre-optimize all the PHP code and get it ready in machine code to run out. 
Uh, yeah, run it, spike. It still goes up to 104, still 12 pages per second. So I didn't get much of a speed up. Um, there's a lot more to APC. This is strictly install APC, see what happens. Um, you've got a whole bunch of nice things inside there. You've got a whole separate cache just in a APC if you set it up. Okay, so then I decided, well, there must be a, there's got to be a point of um, slowing down, and it, it's going to be disk I/O. So I decided to to jump over the disk I/O section and install a RAM drive. Now RAM drive is not an installation procedure, so don't try it. Um, create the RAM drive, mounted it, copied my whole WordPress installation into the RAM drive, set it up as WebRoot, and off it goes. Now, do not do this in a live production environment. Um, it feels like shooting yourself in the foot when you do this in, in a production environment. Okay, great, great stats came back. Um, a load of 40, and, and that 53 page requests going through Apache at, 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 per second. Okay, um, it also took 17 seconds, so it's a 400% 400 imp 400 improvement from, from out the box. Um, it's also now proved that our problem is definitely disk I/O or something in, in that line. Now you can go the, the, the traditional route of finding your, your I/O problems, and you can go and install ten different tools and monitor all day. It's just a lot quicker just to jump RAM drive, confirm the problem, and then you can immediately go back and, and um, rectify it. Um, now WP, there, there's your caches: uh, WP cache, WP super cache, uh, W3 total cache. I'm not quite sure what the next one's going to be named because uh, all the cool names have already been used. Okay, um, I just picked W3 Total Cache because I hadn't used it before. It looked pretty good. And uh, joint, the joint cloud developers also um, raved on about it. Um, if you look at Ryan Allen, he, he basically goes on about the WP Cache, which we've also used on Kio. Um, all these caches are about 99% what you need. You've, you've got to get, still get in there and actually go and customize it a little bit yourself. Um, W3 Total Cache, it's got some great things built in. It's got object, ca object caching, it's got page caching, um, and it's got, you name it, it's got database caching. There's a huge list of, of, of things inside there. Okay, so I removed the, the RAM drive, stuck in the cache, and I just turned on object caching. Immediate improvement from, 40%, 40, 40 load with 40 requests per second, finished in 24 seconds. So we, we're kind of getting there. Now, you'll see a, a load of 40, we, we're still in the destructive zone. So I'm, I'd rather try and get big numbers to actually show the fault rather than looking at a little, tiny little percentage um, lower down. Okay, so caching out. Turn on all the cache, objects, database, pages, you name it. Got a server load down to 33 at 61 requ requests per second, in 16 seconds. So we're talking about a 500% improvement from uh, the, def the out, the, out the box. Okay, that's, that's start and end visually. Okay, the next big, the next big thing is now to, to step away from the Apache, because Apache is the, the dinosaur that uh, Ash described. The nice thing with it is that HD access and all that stuff just works out the box. So if you can split off your dynamic content and your static content, you can then get the, the luxuries of Engine X as well as the, the comfortable feeling that you get from Apache. So start splitting this off. It's really, really simple. Just in your WP config, there's a define statement which you can split off your um, content URL. Uh, you'll probably have to do a little bit of processing on that as well to convert the, uh, the older stuff. And obviously anything that you've statically coded into the, 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 the code, you're gonna have to change. So after changing that, um, then I installed Nginx with, with a separate DNS name. So you set up a separate IP address on the server, WebRoot, both pointing to the same, same source. So if you went to Nginx and you went to WordPress, you'd land up at the same place, excepting Nginx is not gonna be doing any pro, uh, PHP processing. It's only set up to, do the, to return the media files. CSS, images, video, any of those. Okay, the gains. One, PHP, one Apache call per client and eight Nginx. Now this was with the default um, 2010 theme. Nginx, out of the box, doesn't do cookies, doesn't do this, and has almost no performance hit. So if you times that out onto a real site, you've probably got up to 
images and resources coming in with one Apache call. So you can start getting that, that, that back into to reality. Um, if you drop, drop this down to about, um, you're probably looking at a, Apache doing about four to six um, pages per second um, with Nginx doing, doing hundreds. Okay, next steps. You can, you can get Nginx to proxy directly. So it'll, it'll deliver your, your static files itself and it'll proxy all the dynamic PHP stuff directly from within. Um, as usual, the problem comes in with plugins that aren't expecting this. Um, also, your developer te development team might not be expecting that things are going to be cached. Uh, you run into funny little issues with um, spam detection because suddenly all your comments and everything's coming in from one IP. So just be, be, ca be cautious when you, when you step on that. Okay. <laughs> and don't overdo it. When, you, when you're busy optimizing, you can optimize to a point and then you start optimizing to get such a small percentage. Don't sweat that, the small stuff. It's the big stuff that counts. Okay, and that's it. Thank you. Well done. Cool.